Hey, we're here today with Jared. I'm going to give him a great haircut. I want to give him a really super short cut through these sides, leaving some length on the top. I feel like having that length on the top gives him a newer look and you still have the option of wearing it a little different. Uh, Jared's got great hair. He's got a little wave in here. Uh, just nice thick hair. Um, what I want to do is give this a really good shape in here. Something that he could wear slicked back off of his face. He could spike this up if he wants. He could be a little edgier or he could have it a little conservative. What we do first is section off and we've got to find out where we're going to make that hair the shortest. At that round of the head is where we stop that line at because you don't want that hair bulky up there. You want this tapered in really close. So what I do is like to get all of this hair out of the way, the hair that we're not going to cut short. We carve this off and get it out of the way. Um, you could do this with clippers. You could do it with a razor. A razor doesn't cut as close on these sides. I prefer to do it scissor over comb. I feel like the scissor over comb, you get nice and close. Um, you can taper this hair in closely and you almost cut it with the way that it grows. So that hair lays down so nicely. Taking the scissor over comb, just working your way up. You can see, even after that, lifting that hair up, it lays nice and flat. We're going to leave some of Jared's sideburns. We're going to leave some length on those because they do look good on him. Not super short. Going around that ear, straightening that off. Leaves him a nice shape there. When you go around this ear here, doing scissor over comb, you can really taper that hair closely where it grows so close to the ear. The ears are always in the way. This is the hair that grows the first. You're the fastest. So I always get that super close so that hair really is off the ear. The tighter and closer this is, the better this shape looks. And even doing scissor over comb, you can see the shape I'm doing here. I may go back with my texturizers and take a little more weight out to get that hair to lay down a little closer. You don't know until you cut the shape in here, dry it and finish it, and then do your checking and see what else tweaking it needs. So far you can see what nice lines that's going to be. It's going to be a great silhouette on him. His neckline is, you know, he's got a few cowlicks back here and they do grow crazy. I could take the clippers and cut that line in or the, the, the razor or the clippers and cut a square line in here. But then again you fight that hair when it grows in. I like to leave it natural. You can see even as it's cutting closer that it lays really close when it's cut scissor over comb. So let that kind of fade away to his natural hairline. Don't let that be square. You could, but I just prefer to see it this way because, like I said, when it grows in, it really lays down nicely when you let it go, go the way that it wants to go. You see how that cow like is a little strong, but it's not so ornery where it sticks up. So his hair does lay nice, nice right here. Same thing on this side. We're going to do the other side. Exactly the same. I mean, if I went above the round of his head, he'd have a little bit more of a, an extreme or a little edgy or haircut. His hair is very thick, and he would have to fight with that bulkiness in there as it grew out, so that's why I'm opting not to do that. I'm going a little lower, leaving his hair a little more in that natural fall. Going in a little closer here and taking that in close. You can see how that just removes that weight and doesn't leave it bulky. You get really over the ear easier with scissor over comb. And it's a technique you've got to practice. It, 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 but the more you do it, the easier it gets. So many of the cuts that you see short, they're just quicker for me. Some people don't prefer to do this. They'd rather use, rather use clippers. But clippers just don't. They, you don't have the option of altering or changing the shape as much. Clippers just buzz it all the same. And if you have a flat spot or a bulge in your head, you can allow for that when you do scissor over comb by leaving it longer or shorter where it needs it. I'm going to go right to this side here, working my way up, holding that comb at an angle and taking that hair off. Almost goes with the way that it grows. You see how the hair grows around the head. His growth pattern isn't so strong in the crown, which is nice. It's a little easier to work with. But now I'm up to here where I want to. You can even see where I have that parting I didn't have it straight across. I kind of went with the shape of the head. Now, let's check this neckline again. You can see that there's very little hair here to take off. The closer this is, the better it grows out. And all this will be checked once you finish and cut and then really tweak that hair 
haircut make sure there's nothing bulgy or too long in spots. His hair is a little more forgiving. It's dark, so you can hide some mistakes in this hair. Blonde hair is not as forgiving. Now, we've got that neckline off. Got the sideburns looking good. Now we're going to comb the rest of his hair down in that natural fall and see where this lands. Already you can see that top was longer, so now it's hanging over that little bit of that shortness. Not a lot, just a little bit. But what I want to do now is go back to the crown here. We know we want to leave this front very long. I want to cut very little off of this. He's got too much, it's, it's too short in the corners and long in the middle, and we want the opposite. We want to leave a little length at the corner. I might get that middle. But I'm going to start in the crown here. And what I'm going to use next is my sharp tooth razor. I like this razor because it, it, it texturizes as it cuts, so it gives a nice fringy edge. I know I want it shorter here, and I don't want a weight line in here, so I'm going to bring this straight out and determine my guide right here. So I know it's going to be that long in the crown. You can see where that's taken that off. I'm going to just work my way down. You see that little spot there where I need to blend it? Converge. Take it off. This way you won't have, you'll have a nice blended area. You won't have no weight line in here. And I'll just kind of work my way around the head. I do know I want it longer in the front and shorter in the crown. Leaving that bang area longer is going to give him some styling options. He won't be so limited to one look. You can bring that down. You can already see I've got this front cut in the middle. I took a little bit off this middle and left these corners. Already you can see he's got just such good hair anyway, lots of texture in it. Um, and already as it's starting to dry, I feel the need to take a little bit more out of these sides and off this neckline just to taper a little bit more. So I'm going to use my, I'm going to use my thinning shears here texturizers and go through these sides and a little bit more through the top just because I know this hair is thick and wavy and I don't want it to look bulky in spots and especially on that top where we've left it longer. So I'm going to go right through this area that was hanging slightly longer and taper this a little bit more. You can see that takes out the weight without taking off the length. You can see as this hair starts to dry slightly that wave comes out. You can actually see exactly where it needs a little more tweaking at. I'm going to go right through his neckline, clean this up a little bit more, go right through this. You can see almost as it dries where that hair needs a little more finishing. And men's hair looks so much better when it's undone. You know, there are looks where the hair is slicked back and it's controlled and it looks has a little more of a conservative or kind of a retro feel where the hair is really sleek and kind of sculpted. That's not everyday hair, uh, and especially on Jared, he's young, he's a little edgier, his hair looks good messier, but you do have the option of having either one. When you just have all these buzz cuts, men wear their hair so super short and just buzzed off, there's no, there's no um, interest to it, you know, and having some, and if you have good hair, then make the best of it, not shave it all off, because it is definitely an accessory, and... <laughs> You got it. When you got it, you got it. You got great hair. Now I'm going through this and taking some of this off. You can see it has just a slight, a slight disconnection there, and that's okay because if it were to be very blended there, then we would lose the look of having the length on the top where we like it at. So this is what makes this hair just a little newer. There's so many men who are back here with Jared's, Jared's finished look. I'm putting a little Max Wax on his hair. All I did was dry it with my hands dried this hair back in the way that it likes to fall, gave him a little bit of a break in here, a little bit of a part, but you can see what nice hair and how easy this hair dries back, having this little bit of this length on this front, gives him just a newer look, a newer feel to the hair, a little more modern. Um, I think when you've got gray hair like this, don't cut it all off and shave it, make it look really good and wear it well. And I just want to give you a good look here, what he looks like from behind here. Look at this nice profile now, nice and close, no lumpy, mm. bulgy areas, no thick spots, nice and tapered on the neckline. And like I said, having this length on the top really gives him just a nice look here. Jared's hair, he can let it air dry. That's it. Put a little Max Wax <laughs> in it, and he's good to go. Thanks for watching. <laughs>